let me start off by saying today is a day of change. I can feel it. And let me also mention that there is and always been hope. Everybody loves you unconditionally, and now you can be our rock star forever. Dope is whack as hell. As y'all know, this town is going downhill when it comes to the heroin and whatnot. So what we're trying to do is get a bunch of people around, march out to get everybody oh, around here to be aware of what's going on, which is heroin, and it needs to be addressed. And nobody's addressing it, so we got everybody out here today to get together and speak out. I think it's the problem comes from lots of layers of issues, um, whether it's you know boredom, people trying to just have a good time, but I think that in the initial stages of just trying to have a good time, it's hard to realize what danger that you know you're really delving into. So um, this is her story. Uh, one, year ago, one year ago this week, I attended my son's eighth grade graduation at Glen Meadow. His father attended, and little did I know that event was uh, that he was high in heroin. He started using heavily a month or so earlier. By July, my sons realized that their dad had changed, and what was every weekend, two-day visit to their dads became non-existent last summer. It was the summer that my boys had emotionally uh, had to deal with stuff that they should never have had to at their tender age. They watched their dad become a full-blown heroin addict, and by September, he had been arrested, was told he was needed to leave the place he had made his home, lost his job, started to steal to support his drug habit, lost his girlfriend, and lost the respect of his sons and family. You guys are like a deterrent, basically, for crime, like for anything negative. That's awesome. I think it's probably be a good time to bring up Curtis Lewa. Now, I think I mentioned to y'all, this guy, this man, Founded the Guardian Angels. This man looked John Gotti in the eye and he said, nah. There are problems in the homes, there are problems in the streets, there are problems in the schools, there are problems amongst you as you socialize, there are problems in terms of adjustment. It's really no different, just a different set of circumstances. But I can assure you this, any one of you can mess things up measurably, not only for yourself, but for so many others. I want to say that I'm deeply sorry for those whose lives were lost to the demonic power of heroin. And may their families be blessed abundantly according to God's will. Let me put this simply. The boy is a liar. He lies to himself. He lies in bed. He does not care what lies ahead. One night, God came to him. My child, what are you doing? Enough of the lies. It's time that you use that a piece of you dies. Listen to me. What I tell you is true. If you waste my plan, I will throw away you. Shock hit the system. Then anger pursued. The man with the guilt blindly argued. You're not my father. As far as I see, we have nothing in common. So please, let me be. If one man is willing to lead this effort, others will follow other men and women and they'll make a difference and they've been doing that for years as we have been doing for 31 years and not because government asked us to do it or because we're getting paid because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. And here's one thing I think. Here's one thing I think. If some heroin dealer is threatening you, you tell them, yo, I got an army of 200 coming to your door, dog. Take a look around. I see 200 people that live around here that ain't gonna take it, you feel me? I wanna pick up on a comment made by Tim, and that was, um, we have this energy here today, where, where do we go with it from here? So smarten up, lead the way. If you've had problems, scrape yourself off the bottom, 
Pick yourself up by the bootstraps, you could be a role model. Nothing suggested, even if you've been in jail. Even if you've had multiple problems and setbacks, you can't be a role model. Don't give it up. Don't say, oh, life is over for me. I'll be luckily just to shuffle through. And if you've been clean and you've led a normal, natural life without falling into the belly of the beast, continue to lead that life and exemplify that. Right here, if you guys look around, may this change those who are still sick and suffering and for those that want to help.